Drummond Inch and Clonty Rossmore. The teams are just following the pipe pipe for now. Last few moments before we have throw in. Referee today is Philip Shanahan. The Drummond Inch team in goals: Quiva Burke, number two Maria Connolly, fullback Maureen Ryan, number four Emer Cal, number five Neve Long, number six Eve McGrath, number seven Neve Trassy, number eight Mary Burke, number nine Emer McGrath. Uh, number 17, Maria Everson starts ahead of number 10, Siobhan McGrath. Number 11, Anne Everson. Number 12, Marion Campion. Number 13, Dee Dunn. 14, Joanne Ryan. And 15, Michelle Woodlock. Clonty Rossmore team. Number 1, Trey Short. Number 2, Lorna Ryan. Number 3, Myra Canan. Number 4, Kelly Quirk. Number 5, Casey Murphy. 6, Courtney Ryan. 7, Emer Lukeman. Number 8, Cora Hennessy. Number 9, Bernie Ryan. Number 10, Casey Hennessy. 11, Caught the Van. 12, Avril Quirk. 13, Sinead Ryan. 23, Sarah Friday replaces number 14, Emer Burke. And number 15 is Katie Ryan. Clonty, captain today is midfielder number 8, Cor Hennessy. And Drummond Inch are captain by their centre back, Aoife McGrath. Clonty management team, Kieran Hammersley, Aaron Ryan, Lawrence Lukeman and Kenny Ryan. Stephen McGrath's physio, John Devan Hurleys and Jimmy Mara Hurleys. For Drum and Inch, managed by Pat Ryan, selector Kevin Burke, Mary Luby, Paul Stapleton, coach Matthew McGrath, physio Fiona McGrath, Hurleys, Benny Kendi and Stats Georgia Brown. Teams are going into their final positions. Come on now guards, come on! Drumlin's going into their final huddle, Clonty getting into position. Sarah Friday looking to be making her way towards full forward, being picked up there by Maureen Ryan. Maria Davison, who is the one change in the Drummond Inch team, looks to be going straight on Caught the Van there at centre back. Caught the Van playing centre forward. Let's go now, Katie. Go, Courtney. Huge crowd here gathered. We're getting ready to throw in the ball here. The FBD Insurance Senior Club Championship Final. And we're underway. Straight away, tussle there in the middle of the field by both sets of players. Need long starting there in midfield for Drummond. Hand pass by Bernie Ryan, Bernie Ryan to caught the van, but she's blocked by Maria Everson. She's after finding her sister, Anne Everson. Anne Everson free now, picks the ball. Has Courtney Ryan on her, intercepted by Courtney Ryan. Great clears by Courtney down the wing. Bernie fires Neve Trassie. Neve has a look and strikes. Long, long delivery in, tries to find him. McGrath who's starting at mid, mid, full forward there. Main the midfield, but starting there full forward. Picking up Meyer Canan. Eva has it, her first chance here, good, getting free, got past Myra, got past to Joanne Ryan, Joanne with a strike, looks to be good, over the bar for a drum and inch. Great score by Joanne Ryan, opening pint goes to drum and inch, Eva McGrath in the tactical move there, starting at the edge of the square, finds Joanne Ryan and she shoots over the bar. Trey Short with the puck out, trying to find Albert Quirk, it's a line ball for, for Clonty. <laughs> Emer Lukeman, Tiberi senior player, getting ready to take the line ball here. The far side of the field. Gets a good strike. Finds caught. Caught under pressure. Murray gets a lovely strike down the side. Out comes Sinead Ryan, her first, ch first chance of a touch. It's picked up instead there by Casey Hennessy. Nice strike by Casey. Finds Avril Quirk again. 
Sarah. Strikes yeah. in, Sarah Fright is in there. Put pressure, Quiva, Burke, more power for Quiva. Strikes it out, Fight. as far as Neve Long. First touch for Neve Long. Stop it, strikes Stop it down, it. tries to find Mary Campion, but Kashi, uh, Murphy's out in front. Still doesn't clear, Al Emerson's there, battling hard. Dean to fouled the ball, touched the ball on the ground, says the referee, and it's a free here for Clonty. Caught the fan with a free. Lovely stro strike, looks good. Cook drop short, pressure there, Drummond Edge goes. But it's clear, it's picked up there. Set up. Looking dangerous there by Paul Lane, but Ethan McGrath on the end line. Gatterlish and a free now for Quiva Park. Good strike by Quiva. Marion Campion is on the attack. Keshi Murphy's there again. Having a great year wing back for Clonty. Lee Tracy, up, opposite wing back there. Fighting for the ball here too. Go on, go on. Picked up by number 10, Casey Hennessy. Solo and down the right hand side. Met with attack from Ray Everson. Strike, got the strike off though. Maria Connolly is there. Picking up Kate Ryan. Mary Burke there of midfielder in the yellow helmet for Drummond Inch. Hey, call her. Who's going to put a name on it? It's gone out to the side. Looks good. Could be a line ball here. It is. Clonty line ball. Looking to take a quick line ball. Trying to find Bernie Ryan. Instead, it's Sinead Ryan who has it. She strikes it in. Ray Everson's on. No problem from Ray. Catches that ball. Strikes it down. Trying to find Marion Campion. Marion coming at pace. Casey Murphy's on her. Miriam has it. And Everson is free up the line if she can spar. Drills a lovely ball to Anne Everson. Lovely touch by Anne. But great work there by Casey Courtney. And it's a free. Much the disappointment here of the Clonty crowd. But that deemed a free. Mary Campion takes a quick free. Referee not happy. Says to come back. And Ian McGrath, the drumming inch free taker, coming out to take this. Ian McGrath, first chance to get name on the scoreboard. Excellent free taker here with Drummond Inch. I think the breeze is slightly in Clonty's favour. Well, within Emer's range, though. She picks it, strikes it, but it looks to be going wide, and it does. Out to the left and wide. Plenty of power on it, but wide ball from Emer McGrath. Trey Short with the puck out for Clonty. Goes short to number two, Lorna Ryan. Lorna being chased by D. Dunn. Lorna clears it down the wing. Cora Hennessy, Neve Long is there. Lovely catch by Cora Hennessy. She turns, strikes. Great ball in. Trying to find Sarah Friday. Comes out from full forward. Is well marshaled there by Maureen Ryan. Number 15 is there for, for Clonty, Kate Ryan. Flicked up there by Sarah Friday to Casey Hennessy. Great strike by Casey. Looking for the first point. Of, and it's there. Super score by Casey Hennessy from the right wing. Lovely score there by Casey Hennessy from Clonty Rossmore. Number 10, Casey Hennessy gets Clonty off the mark. And Neil Chassie just receiving a bit of treatment there. Five minutes gone on the clock. A point each. Two scores from play. One from Joelle Ryan, one from Casey Hennessy. A lively opening start here. Super crowd here in the County Camogie grounds in the rag. We've been getting ready to take the puck out here now for Drummond Inch. Get to ground, get it to ground, get on the break. Good strike by Cueva, great puck out there, going all the way to centre forward here, but it's Courtney Ryan bursts out from centre back. Lovely play by Courtney Ryan. Hand pass it there to Avril Quirk. Avril finds caught, caught strikes it in, but Maria Everson's there sitting in the pocket. Picks it up, Maria coming out again with it. Her knee heavily strapped up. She tried to find Ethan McGrath, but overcooked it. Great tackle there by two players going. Hell for letter there. Line ball from Clonty. Core Hennessy now getting ready to take this for Clonty. How she'd love to lift the trophy here at the end of 60 minutes. 
Cuts it down the corner, tries to find her corner forward, comes back to her. Heavy tackle there by Emma McGrath, refs his play on, flicks it out to number five, Casey Murphy. She tries to find Avril Cork, but instead it's Eva McGrath. And wing back there for Drummond Edge, captain, hand pass to Mary Burke, strikes a long ball in. Mary Campion's in full forward on her own. Lovely catch by Mary Campion, tries to get past Meyer and Canal, she does. So the one and through, she has a free player, she catches it again, takes a shot, buries it. A super goal by Mary Campion, as good as you'll see here in the County Camogie Grounds in the rag. Mary Campion, long delivery in, isolated on her own inside. She had Michelle Woodlock inside, chose to take it on herself, a super strike past the clone to keep her, gave her no chance. It's a goal from Marion Campion, 1-1 one, one here to a point, clone to need a response. Here comes Cot Devan, no better woman, strikes in, looking for Sarah Friday. It's going to go over her head though, Quiva Burke is out to get it. Here comes Quiva Burke, steadies up, strikes it back down. More pressure on the clone defence. Casey Murphy's there again, stand very well here, out she comes. Sona and down, tries to find Emer Lukeman. And Emer wins a free. Jan, Joanne Ryan just fouled there and it's called back for a free here. Which call will come out to take. Call getting ready to take the free here. Big strike here by Cot Van. Looks good, looks good. It is. Umpires go for the white flag. Super score from Cot. Cot the van from a free. Two points for Colonti Rossmore. 1-1 one, one for Drummond Inch. Strike out again. Neve Long is there. Comes to a lovely catch by Neve Long. Strikes it up the corner. Trying to find D Dunn. D Dunn in a race here with Lorna Ryan. D has it. No, she hasn't. Still on the ground there. Mary Burke is there to pick it up. Great play by Mary Burke. That's a dangerous ball inside. Trying to find Michelle Woodlock. First touch by Michelle. Lovely pick up, showing all her pace. Hand pass it to the cousin, Mary Campion, who's in the corner there. Got past Moira Canal. Here comes Miriam down to the corner. Looking for a free. It's not coming. Ref says play on. It's a free out for Overcarrion. Free for Colonti Rossmore. Drummond is looking very dangerous there, but in fairness, Colonti defence held up well there. Give them no chance, and it's a free here. And free here from Myra Canan. She strikes it down the field again. Mary Burke is there. Gets a touch on her, does she? Linesman says it's a Colonti ball. Core Hennessy getting ready to take this. Looking for green and yellow jersey. Nice touch there by Casey Hennessy. Gets, takes it back to Cora. Cora tries to deliver and finds Cot. Lovely ball down the corner wing, but here comes Neve Tracy. She read it so well. She needs to get rid of it, though. Cot is there on top of her. Cot gets the touch, and it's going to be a line ball for Drummond Inch. Drummond Inch forwards, switching and changing here. Ethan McGrath coming over from wing back to take this. Barney, Barney, more, Barney, more. Find there now. There, there, there. Lively opening 10 minutes here in the County Camogie Grounds and the Rag in front of a huge crowd. Lovely strike there by Eva McGrath. D Don has it. Lovely touch by D. Strikes it in. Out comes Marion Campion. But Meyer Canan is out in front here. She needs to clear it though. And now it's coming across, putting pressure on her. Here comes Lorna Ryan. Clears it down the wing. Well played by Lorna. Casey Hennessy puts her hand to it but misses it. Here comes Eva McGrath. Where we seen her giant captain alongside Cotavan. She had passed it out to D Dunn. Lovely. Well played by D. Hand passed it out to Neve Long. Here comes Neve Long. Needs to find a player. Strikes it in low in front of Mary Campion. She's been well marked this time by Miriam and she stumbles. Has the ball. Looks and passed it out. Looks to be a throw, but ref says no. And D Dunn goes to strike and it's blocked down. Here comes Courtney Ryan. Bring it clears by Courtney Ryan. Maria Conley is there though. Well done. And here comes Eva McGrath, sweep up again. Both sides giving it everything, not between both sides. A great clear by Mary Burke. Michelle Woodlock is there, out she comes with. Again being well marked. Forwards getting nothing here. Courtney Ryan charges out with a hand pass to Caught. Caught very deep there. Great delivery by Caught. Looking to find Sinead Ryan in the corner. Sinead being chased by Emer Khan, number four for Drummond Inch. Sinead has it, she gathers it, tries to get past it. Emer's there, upon pressure, strike is in. There's Clonty players here, there's a chance. Number 15, Kate Wright had a lovely chance there, but couldn't quite get into their hand. 
clear the line, Sarah Friday again is there with pressure on the player. Shouts of line on the ball here from the crowd. Out comes Maureen Ryan with it. And it's under serious pressure there from Clonty. Great work right here for, from, from Clonty. And it's a line ball for them. Cora with the line ball. Cuts it in. Maria Connolly gets a touch out as far as Maria Devson. Maria Devson now in a chase here with Bernie Ryan. Maria gets down on it but ends up on the deck. Tries to get back up. Referee blows the ball. I say it's going to be a throw in. Or he's indicating a free and it is a free. It's caught the van. We'll surely right, put this you over. Sit down now, okay? Stay talking now, stay talking. Everyone caught the van with the free, out. straight in front of the post. Breeze on her back, she strikes lovely over the bar. Free from caught the van. Makes it 1 1 to 3 points. Clonty recovered well after that goal. Drummond has yet to score since. Puck out trying to find Joanne Ryan being marked by Emer Lukeman. Both can't go for the ball. It's break there. Out comes Lorna, or Kelly Quirk there. Drives it down the wing. Finds Cora Hennessy. Got a lot of ball so far today, Cora. Strikes a great ball to Casey Hennessy. He tries to chase her. Casey goes on a run. Great solo run here by Casey Hennessy. Goal chance possibly coming on here. Neil Tracy gets back well. And a chance to the goal. Barry to the back of the net by Casey Hennessy. Great ball in by Cora Hennessy. Found Casey. She got past Neil Tracy. Solo it on in. Looked to be tackled but got the shot off. And it's a goal for Colonti from Casey Hennessy. A goal and three points to a goal on the point. Colonti in the lead by two points. Lovely flick on there by Neve Long. Neve chases for the ball. Lots of space in front for her. She saw in. Mary Campion's looking for it. Neve turns back, goes for a diagonal ball to Michelle Woodlock. It's breaking there for Joanne Ryan. Joanne gets a flick. Drum trying to respond to the goal. Here comes Mary Campion. Flicks now in front for her. Dee picks it up. Hand pass to Miriam. Miriam tries to get free, gets the shot off. Is it going to make it? No, it's wide. White ball from Mary Campion. 14 minutes gone here. Clonty leading a goal of three points to 1 1. Strike by Trey Short. Looking for Caught the Van, but it's Ethan McGrath going to get across there. She has Maria Levison free in the middle. Choose to strike it herself. Tries to find Joanne Ryan, but Emer Lukeman that comes out in front. Emer Lukeman on the ball. Back to Caught the Van. And strikes it down again. Sinead Ryan races to the ball with Emer Cal. Sinead picks it. We'll look to find Casey Hennessy. Flicks it out to Casey Hennessy. Here comes Neve Trassy though. And it's a line ball again. Clonty line ball. Clonty with the line ball. Caught by Mairead Everson. Well played by Mairead. She strikes it up. Tries to find her sister Anne. Marie McGrath's there too. Anne in a race with Courtney Ryan. Courtney gets the touch. The breaks to Emer McGrath. She needs to hurry on now. Courtney Ryan is there. Picks the ball. Good strike by Courtney. Quiva Burke comes out to meet it. Well tackled there. But Quiva still has it. Flicks out to Perry Cedar captain. Gets it out as far as her captain, Aoife McGrath. To Perry Cedar goalie meant. She strikes it down. Aoife strikes it. Trying to find Michelle Woodlock. Kelly Cork gets a touch. Joanne Ryan is there as well. Well marked by Emer Lukeman. Joanne has it though. She gets free. Trying to find D. Don D has a chance here. Touches it down. Has it now in the hand. Well marked there though by Lorna Ryan. Tries to get past her. She gets off the shot. Trey is short. Deals with that in the goals. Good catch and clearance. Only as far as Anne Emerson. And with a catch. Takes a shot. Great shot by Anne Emerson. Looks good. And it, the upper goes for the white flag. A score from Anne Emerson from play. To make it a goal and three points for Clonty Rasmore, a goal and two for Drummond Inch. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Super battle here by the two top teams in Tipperary. And it's water break here. Clonty 1 3, Drummond Inch 1 2. Clonty players getting applauded here by their management and subs.
going in leading the county champions by a point a goal and three points to a goal and two Both sides get a quick drink and get ready to go again. A much needed drink. Pitch in excellent condition here. The rain is staying away, but threatening a nice breeze going down the pitch in Clonty's advantage. <coughs> Drum an inch back out in the field. What teams would be happy how they started? Clonty ready to go again. for the second quarter here in the first half. We'll start with a puck out from Clonty keeper Trey Short. And we're off again for the second quarter. Good puck out there by Trey, finds caught the van, caught, strikes it down. Looking to find Sinead Ryan. Ian Ricard comes across. Nice flick to Aoife McGrath. Aoife so reliable back there. Pass to Mairead Everson. Mairead strikes it down. They're trying to find Joanne Ryan there. She's being well marked by Emer Lukeman. Michelle Woodlock is there too. Michelle tightly marked too by Kelly Cork. Great battles there going around all over the field. And a free there. Push in the back by Clonanti. A free for Michelle. Or is it a line ball? I think it's a free uh, Emer McGrath coming over to take this. The drum and inch free taker. Out over on the sideline. She'll have the distance. Will she have the accuracy? <coughs> drum and inch need a score. Trailing Clonty by a single point. Emer picks and strikes. Looks, I think it's going to drop short, actually. It does drop short, but Michelle Woodlock's there. Well controlled by Michelle. Can she get the shot off? No, Casey Murphy's there. So is Michelle again and Miriam Campion. Everyone, everyone trying to get it up. Michelle has it again. No, it's not there. Miriam kicks it on, but look who's there. It's Cora Hennessy. Out she comes again. Giving a captain's performance here so far. Flicks it out to Courtney Ryan. What an addition to Clotty it is to have Cora back in action today. Maria Connolly is there. Chase the ball with Kate Ryan. Maria has it. Clears it down the line again. There goes Aoife McGrath. Well marked there by Avril Quirk, but Aoife has it. Super play there by Aoife. Tries to find Emer. She has it now. She got a belt there just as she was catching it, and it's a free now for Emer. We're getting ready to take the free. Score remains 1 3 to 1 2 in Clonty's favour. Our last free drop short. We should get more distance on this one. Picks a good strike. Has the distance again, has it? And it, oh, just brought down by the keeper. Just as it was going over the bar, Trish got the touch to it, brought it back down. Here comes Lauren Ryan chasing this. She's coming out the corner here. Finds Kate Murphy. Okay, she's. Bursting out from wing back. Flicks it on, well played. Oh, Emer McGrath oh, intercepts it there. But Casey Hennessy has it now. The referee calling it back for a free. Says Court Hennessy held Emer's hand, her arm. A free now for Emer McGrath. Third free in a row. This one she'll be hoping to put over. McGrath steadies up, get right to take this free. No score since the second quarter. Began after the water break. Emer gets great power on that shot. And the umpire goes for the white flag. Now it's level, one three apiece. Emer McGrath from the free. 
Trey is getting another take. Next puck out. This game's so evenly played so far. 20 minutes approaching on the clock. Trey goes for a sharp puck out to Courtney Ryan. Well played. Good strike by Courtney. All the way down. Trying to find her corner forward, but Sinead, or Maria Connolly's there. And Aoife McGrath and Mary Burke. But still, Sinead Ryan comes out with the ball. Sinead with the white helmet. Oh, Maria Connolly's throwing the back off her. Well pressure, good pressure there by Clonty. Aoife McGrath has it. Clears it again. Neve Long on a chase with Core Hennessy. Neve Long has it. Trying to find Michelle Woodlock. Hand pass it back. Michelle strikes it in. D Dunn is inside. Out comes D Dunn. But her own marker there. She stumbles. She gets up again. Lorna wins a free. Well, it's fouled there by the Drummondish player. Lorna Ryan really settled into the. Since the drums opening goal, Clotty's full back line have really settled into it. Lorna Ryan, Myra Quirk, Ke or Myra Canan, Af Kelly Quirk all going well. Drum have to earn every single score. Courtney Ryan now with the free. Big strike by Courtney Ryan. Trying to find Avril Quirk. Casey Hennessy is free. The ball in the middle of the field. She picks it up. Pressure there by Mary Burke. Neve Trassi is there. Intercepts her. Here, here comes Neve Trassi now. She has it now. Coming out with it. And is met by a challenge from Courtney Ryan. And the referee says it's a free. Katie call him out. Katie, you want a McGrath physio sister to Aoife and Eamor coming in to see if Neve Trassi's okay. Aoife getting ready to take this free now. She'll be ready hoping go, to get it over Courtney Ryan who's sitting in the pocket there. I think it's going to go straight to Courtney Ryan. And Evans goes up with the hand, doesn't get it. Courtney is there, really settled into this game. Strikes it down. Here comes Caught the van. Caught's trying to win it there on Ray Everson. Ray there tussling for the ball down on her knees but still manages to get it. Cora. Another tussle there by three or four players from each side. Who has it? Only Casey Hennessy. And pass it back out to Bernie Ryan. Bernie Ryan gets it. Has a look at the post, thinks about a shot, decides to instead to slip it inside, trying to find Sarah Friday, but it's Aoife McGrath who comes out with it. Aoife having a powerful game, clears the ball. Looking for Miriam Campion. Miriam is there. Oh, comes off it. Claudia Hurley. Out comes D Dodge. She needs to get it. Flicks it out as far as Aver. Lovely done. Eva with the shot, looking good. It's a super score from Drummond Inch. So hard there, every score has to be. And Drummond Inch with Eva McGrath from play after a nice little flick class pass from D Dunn. Go look for it, come on, go look. I'm just being tall on the sideline here, it's hard on the heart, it certainly is. Eva Lukeman with the ball, strikes it down. 22 minutes gone. Drummond Inch in the lead, a goal of four points to a goal and three. Emer Cal on this sideline picks it up there. P pressure being put on her by Avril Quirk. <laughs> Clear it. Emer Lukman, super catch by Emer Lukman out in front of Michelle Woodlock, who seems to be playing on the wing now. Picked up there by Casey. Uh, sorry, hand pass back to Cotton She strikes it, drop it short. Quiva Burke gathers it. Lovely. Well played by Quiva Burke. Lovely play there by Quiva. Picks out Aoife McGrath with a pass. Aoife. Aoife Having a superb game here for Drummond Inch, as always. There's Casey Murphy and Eamon McGrath. Dee Dunn is there too. She's chasing for the ball. Lorna Wright is on her. Dee finds Eamon McGrath with a pass. Eamon has a quick look across before she picks the ball. Picks it up. It's opened up her front for her. She's staying going on the end line. Eamon McGrath flicks the cross. And Everton is there. Up and goal. Brilliantly stopped. Joanne Ryan with the rebound. Parries it into the back of the net. Joanne Ryan with a goal. Eamon McGrath, cool as could be. With a pass, just as Anne was pulling the trigger, a superb block down by Clonty, but it fell to Joanne Ryan who pulled on the ball, cool as could be, with all the experience of 20 years of playing. Club Camogie with Drummond Inch. Buries it to the back of the net. Things have changed now. Drummond Inch back in the leap. Two goals and four points to a goal and three points. Neil Trassi now coming into the game more. Casey Edison chase, chasing her. Neil Trassi, three players on her, still gets off the pass. Well played by Neil Trassi. Anne Evans is there. Here's Joanne Ryan again. Joanne Ryan has a chance here, takes a turn and shoots and a white ball. Looked like a goal chance there for a second for Joanne Ryan but was put under serious pressure there by Kelly Quirk. Decided to turn back and take the point but it went wide. Clonty will be looking for a score, 24 minutes gone on the clock now. It's a goal and three points to two goals and four. Trey Shaw with the puck out. 
Only goes as far as Michelle. Michelle catches and strikes it back in. Her sister Michelle strikes it back up. Here comes Joanne Ryan now. Joanne really coming into the game, being chased by Courtney Ryan. Joanne Ryan gets free. Can she get the shot off? Twists and turns. Strikes it across. Here comes Trace, gathers it in the goals and clears it. Trying to fight. Caught the van. She's been marked by Neve Tressy. Here comes Neve Long. Doesn't gather it. Caught on the second attempt. Referee blows for a free. Caught looks to take a quick one. Caught getting ready. Take a free. In line the midfield here. Right, just right of the goal post. She strikes it. It looks to be going wide, or is it? Wide ball for Caught the Van. Unfortunate there for Clonty. The, goal, the score remains Clonty, a goal and three points to Drummond Inches, two four, goals and four. Points. Three cracking goals we've had so far in this game. Huge excitement. Ethan McGrath down injured now for Drummond Inch. Her sister Fiona is physio is coming across to attend her. A chance for all the players to catch their breath. Selector Paul Stapleton in, having a few words with Dee Dunn. Neve Trassie going to the sideline for a quick drink of water. It's held for, held for letter here, going in three points to Clonty, two goals and four for Drummond Inch. Four points separating the sides. Still all to play for here. Quiva Burke with the puck out. Lots of movement in the Drummond Inch forward line. Dee Dunn is there. <coughs> yeah, she had the hand up across K Murphy. Good call by the referee. Caught Van with the free. Similar position to the last one. She had the distance last time but just went wide. Can she direct this over the bar? Looks better all the way. Good score from Posh. A free there from Caltevan makes it a goal and four points to Clonty Rossmore. Two goals and four to Drummond Inch. <coughs> Great strike there by Quiva Burke. Here comes Emer Lukeman, picks it up, strikes it down. Finds Sinead Ryan. She finds Caltevan, who's free in the middle of the field, takes a long range strike. Has the distance, but that's gone wide. Yeah, do that, do that for a fight. Not now, not now. After the puck out, after the puck out, Aaron. After the puck out. We don't call her out. Quiva Bark with the puck out. Oh, Neve Trassy has it there, Casey Hennessy couldn't get through and control of it. Neve Trassy growing more and more into this game as it goes on. Has Mary Burke off the shoulder, goes herself. Can't catch it. What's she going to do? Hand pass it to Dean Dunn. Dee Dunn has it, trying to get through. A lovely pass by Dee Dunn Everson. And strikes. No. It's a trace. Miriam's on top for pressure. Still there. And Everson with the goal. And Everson buries it to the back of the net for Drummond Inch. That's a third goal for Drummond Inch. Disappointment for Clonty Rossmore, but Neve Trassie made an unbelievable run up the field. Clonty couldn't clear the lines. And Everson got the ball and buried it. Here comes Cora Hennessy now. Strikes the ball down. Sarah Friday comes out for it. Tries to gather pressure there by Maureen Ryan. Drummond inches full back this year. Maureen tries to clear up the line, but it's going to be a line ball to Clonty Rossmore. Drummond inch stretched their lead now to two goals. Three goals and four to a goal and four. Strike by Neve Long. Trying to find Michelle Woodlock. Emer Lukeman is there, she gathers it. Flicks it out to her cornerback, Kelly Cork. Down the line to Sinead Ryan. Sinead gathers it now, well marked by Ethan McGrath, but she gets the pass off to Emer Lukeman. Emer has it now, but they have to go back again. Michelle Woodlock with pressure. Referee has the hand up. It's a, it's a free now for Drummond Inch. Caught the man coming over to take this. Caught the van. What a chance here. 
Okay, strike there by Caught. Has the distance. Oh, straight over the bar. Super free there by Caught the van. I go on and five points. I go on and five points. Three goals and four points. Down it goes here. Breaks now for Caught the van in the middle of the field. Playing very deep for Clonty. Getting super ball in, but I'm sure they could do with her inside too. But here comes Casey Ellis. He got a goal later on. Lovely flick. No. Maybe overcomplicating it a bit inside there. Drummondage defence are back now in numbers. Flicked out to Sarah Fry. A chance for Sarah to get on the score sheet. Hold on. Yes. White ball. Come on, girls. Hold the half time now. Hold the half. 30 minutes gone. Approaching half time here. The kids from Clonty Rossmore and Drummondage getting ready for their mini games here at half time. Quiva Burke with the puck out. Goes short, finding Ray Devson. Ray gathers it, strikes it up, looks for Joanne Ryan. Core Hennessy's back there. Fumble there now. Here comes Miriam Campion. Miriam has it, tries to get free, wins the free. Foul there by Courtney Ryan. Find the player now. Courtney, what's that? Ian McGrath comes over to take that. Chance here to extend Drummond Inch's lead. Even McGrath with the free. <coughs> good strike by Ian McGrath. Looks good all the way. Umpires are happy. Makes it three goals and five points to one goal and five points. A free from Ian McGrath. Extends from an inch's lead. Keeps two goals between the scenes. Four first half goals here in the County Camoy Grounds Rag for the FBD Insurance Senior Championship Final between Drummond Inch, Clonty, Rossmore. There's the half time whistle there. Philip Shannon blows the half time whistle. Half time here. Drummond Inch, three goals and five points to Clonty, Rossmore. One goal and five points. After a entertaining, highly pulsating first half, it's Drum who have the lead with the goals making all the difference there. Two goals there. Between the, two, between the two sides. So it's a goal and five points here for Clonty Rossmore. Three goals and five points. And we'll see you for the second half. Get over it, get over it. Well done. And we're underway here now for the second half. Drummond Inch leading the half time 3 5 to 1 5. But it's Clonty now with the first attack. Here comes Casey Hennessy. Got a great goal in the first half. How Clonty'd love for her to get another one. She's getting past Keith from McGrath. Flicks it inside. Maria Connolly's there. Here comes Sarah Friday out the wing. Takes a strike. Difficult angle. Looks good. No. White ball. First white there with the second half. Well done, Eva. Well done. Well done. Well done, Sinead. Well done. Good. Good. Bernie Ryan there strikes it, but it goes out over the sideline. Drum and inch line ball. Push, Line ball here now for Drum and Inch. Even McGrath getting ready to take it. Strikes it. Strikes it down, another line ball here now, this time for Clonty. Let's go again now, Clonty, let's go again! Let's get, 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 get across. Emo, Emo, look for this! Emo! Clonty now with the line ball, they're going to need some scores here to get, break, get back into this game. Halftime score probably doesn't really reflect the game though, not between these sides, Courtney Ryan with the strike. Just see 14, Emer Burke has come on a half time there for Clonty. I'm not sure who has made way. Core Hennessy here getting ready to take the line ball. Like, I mean, Casey has run at him so often. The option taking is very poor for him. 
Good strike by Cora, down the wing, finds caught the van. Caught fumbles it though and goes out and couldn't control it. Line ball now for Drum. Neil Trasty comes over from wing back to take it. Sarah Dale! Oh, Sarah! Nine ball now by Neil Trassi. Second half hasn't come to life yet. Here comes Cartavan. Blocked out there by Mary Burke. Emer Burke is there, tries to gather it. Ball is still there. A bit of a rock emerging here. Referee wondering what's going to happen. Hurley's been swung there. Cartavan has it out. Tries to break through. Wins a free. And it's a free for Clonty Rossmore. Casey, don't go too far in now, okay? Cock getting ready here to take yeah, the free. Has a look at the post there. Jesus, Sarah, Strikes, on. going to drop short. Who's inside there for Clonty? Aoife McGrath gathers it. Out she comes with the ball. Clears it out to the side there, looking for Mary Burke. She's been chased out by Bernie Ryan. And another line ball. A multitude of line balls here to start the second half. Here, Bernie Ryan getting ready to take here, this. Now, come on. Push your hand to the ball, Casey. Leaves it for her wing forward, Casey Hennessy. Courtney, go on, let's go. Don't go too far, Courtney. Casey Hennessy strikes the ball. Aoife McGrath is there. Aoife gathers it. Out she comes with it. Tries to get free. Tries to find space. Shouts the steps for the crowd. Ball is on the ground now again. Win the fight, now win the fight. Sluggish start to the second half. Here comes Neve Trassi, gathers it, tries to find a way. Great pressure there by the Clonty forwards. Still, still no one can gather into the hand. Now Casey Hennessy has it. Oh, she blazes it to Cod Devel. Sitting back in the pocket. Lovely strike by Cod. Looks to be good. A point there from Clonty. Cod Devel from play. First score of the second half. Clonty Rossmore goal, six points, there, nine no, points, there, three goals, there, and five there, points for there. Drum and Inch. 14 points, Drum and Inch. Puck out there by Quiva Burke, trying to find Anne Everson. Off she goes, Anne, being well marked there by Casey Murphy. Anne gets it again, though. Well done. Well done, Bernie. Bernie Ryan has it there for Clonty Rossmore. But it's cleared again by Drum and Inch. All the way down. Dangerous ball. Marion Campion is there. Looks dangerous every time it comes into her. Who's there now? Michelle Woodlock gathers it. Tries to get free. Drops the ball. Fumbles it. And out comes Clonty with the ball. Come on. Come on. And it's a free out for Clonty Ross. Come on now, Eber. Carney Ryan getting ready to take this. Tipperary intermediate player, Courtney. Picks it and strikes it down. Sarah Friday is out in front looking for it. Aoife McGrath is where? Sarah tries to pick it up. Aoife McGrath with pressure. Sarah roll lifts it into the hand. One handed. Hand passes it there. Trying to find Sinead Ryan. Here comes Sinead. Turns back to Sarah. Sarah with the strike. Blocked down by Aoife McGrath. Out comes Quiva. Doesn't get it. And it's going to be a 45 for Clonty Rossmore. <coughs> Linesman comes in to mark the spot. 45 there. Oh, Cod fan getting ready to take this. Well done, Cordy. Well done. Well done, Eva. Casey, good girl. Good well, Cora. Good well, Kelly. Caught with the free. Or with the 45. 36 minutes gone on the clock. Clonty need a score to stay in touch there with Drummond Inch. Pick and strike by Cot. Good strike. A point there from a 45. Makes the Colonti a goal and seven points. Three goals and five for Drummond Inch. All to play for here in the County Camogie grounds in the rag. Quiva Burke with the puck out. Looks for distance. Neve Long comes with Cora Hennessy and Sarah Friday. The ball is breaking. Body's been flung everywhere. Here comes Mary Burke. 
up the up the corner to Sinead Ryan. Maria Connolly is there, being tightly marked. So is Eve McGrath. So is Eve Long. Neve pulls. Does it go? Line ball here. Clotty line ball. Caught Van getting ready to take this. Loads of shouts of encouragement here from the Clotty management. Trying to lift their side again. Here comes Caught with the line ball. Only as far as Eve McGrath. Eve gathers it. Turns back. Gets free and gets the strike off. Looking for Anne Everson. Anne comes out at pace. Doesn't get her first time. Is under pressure there now. Casey Murphy gets it though, Anne. Gets it back to Neve Trassi. Her wing back. Neve dodges the tackle there. Gets free. Solos down the wing. Gets the shot off. Only as far as Courtney Ryan there, who's free there at centre back. Out comes Courtney. Doesn't clear it though. Emer Lukeman is there too. Joanne Ryan putting pressure on it. Joanne Ian tries to get a hook. Emer Lukeman picks out Sarah Friday. Sarah Friday in loads of space here. Goes off an amazing solo run. Aoife McGrath's though is coming to me here. Aoife with pressure now. Here comes Aoife with pressure. There's the steps. Too much steps from Sarah. And Aoife is going to take this free. Ethan McGrath with the free, strikes it down. Only as far as Corey Hennessy who came out to me and strikes it back to Sarah Friday. Sarah gathers it, is tackled, hand passed out to Cora. Cora doesn't get a clean catch on it. Ethan McGrath is there, Ethan McGrath is there. Surely a throw in. Philip Shannon referee here. Well done, Tanoti, that's great work. Looks for the well ball done, to throw Tenorti. it in. Well done, Barney. Well done, Throw Casey. in there. Neve Long block, finds block, it. Well Neve Long strikes his half Kennedy. hooked. Only goes as far as Emer Lukeman. Emer Lukeman hooked by Joanne Ryan. There's Bernie Ryan. Bernie tries to pick it up. Neve Long has it again. Turns back and strikes. Blocked again. Ethan McGrath is there. Here comes Caught the man. Mary Burke is there too. Casey Hennessy gathers it. Casey Hennessy off for the soul run. Here comes Casey Hennessy. The whole place open up in front of her. Neve Trassi so is there. It's coming to me here. She gets an order again. She has to take a shot. Tackle there. Shoots and a goal. No. I don't think so. The referee is calling it back. Caught three times. Oh, cheers of delight has turned to size of disappointment from the Colotti crowd. What looked to be a super well taken goal is the top corner but instead the referee had the whistle blown caught it three times Casey Hennessy a real danger woman though every time she goes on the solo Drummond and Snow the danger there Clonty know there's chances there for goals puck out again Anne Everson fighting with Courtney Ryan for the ball here comes Marion Campion Miriam strikes it, finds Emer, oh, overcooks it. Here comes Caught the van. Caught, picks it up, lovely. Evades the tackle, off on the solo run. Caught, strikes it in. Who's there? Maureen Ryan trusts clear, Sinead Ryan is there. Maria Conley picks it up. Maria sees right. Eve Trassi. Strikes it down the line to Eve Trassi. Bernie Ryan is on her. Trassi gets past it. Bernie and strikes it down. Look, tries to find Marion Campion, who's been well marked by Katie Murphy. Miriam is there, so is Katie. Who can get up into the hand? Two of them fighting for the ball. Miriam has it now. Lovely catch by Miriam. Or lovely pickup. How strikes it across the D Dawn. Can't find D Dawn. Here comes Courtney Ryan. Courtney strikes it. Looking for Court Hennessy. Well played by Neve Long. Flicks the pass. Picks it up. Strikes it in. Michelle Woodlock's trying to get away from her marker, Kelly Quirk. Michelle Woodlock is there. She picks it up on the end line. Ta well tackled. Still hasn't got it. Still fighting for the ball. A tussle down in the corner there. And it looks like to be a line ball. Clonty line ball. Clonty look to make a substitution. Number 17, Kayleigh Davern, about to enter the field. Line ball now by Drum, in it goes. Michelle Woodlock gets a touch. 
Flicks it back. Lovely play by to Joanne Ryan. Joanne has a look. Strikes it across. There's danger in there. Dedon gets a touch. Dangerous ball now. Ian Malufman doesn't gather it. It's still there. Out comes Courtney Ryan. Now Ian Malufman has it and clears the ball. Well played. Go on, Casey. Caught the van in a race with Neil Tracy. Cause there. Tries to pick it up. Caught has it now. Gathers it. Tries to get past Neil Tracy. Flicks it out to Casey. Casey. Off she goes again. Another solo run. Strikes it in. Long ball in. Who's inside? Sinead Ryan and Maria Conley. Maria touches it down. Eve McGrath is there back to help out. Danger isn't cleared yet. Now Eve McGrath flicks it out. Steadies herself. Gets down. Slight push in the back, no free, says ref. And pass it out to Maria Conley. Maria strikes it down. Eamon Luke and Joanne Ryan are for a core here as he gets there first. Tries to pick it up. Eamon McGrath is there too. A strike there as far as, only as far as Eve Long. Here comes Sarah Friday. She gets free. And a trip by Mary Campion. And that's a free for... For Kenoji Rasmore. Sarah Friday is down. Receiving a bit of attention. Kenoji getting ready to take the free. Seven, Sarah, well done. Let's go to the water break. Two to the water break. Caught the van getting ready to take this free. Drum and inch leading three goals and five to a goal and seven. 43 minutes gone on the clock. <coughs> this should be another point for Clonty. Looks good. Umpire's happy. The cheer goes up. Caught the van makes it a goal and eight points. 11 points. 14, only three points in it. Drumming in substitution, Siobhan McGrath getting ready to enter as well. Here comes Mary Burke, lovely play by Ethan McGrath, strikes it down, trying to find D Dunn. Anne Everson is there, so is D. D can't get her, Anne is there. Does Anne have it? No. On the ground, out comes. Give it out, give it out, come on, bring it up. Number two for Clonty Rossmore, Lorna Ryan. Finds, finds Cora, Cora strikes it. Only as far as Neve Trassi, Emer Burke is there. Second half substitution, Emer strikes it in. Maureen Ryan is coming out there with Kaylee Darren. Clonty forwards fighting hard here. Casey Hennessy has it. Can she get it up? Well played there by Aoife, but her clearance only finds Core Hennessy. She strikes it, looking for Caught the Van. Here comes Sinead Ryan. Caught the Van is outside her. Mary Burke is following her. Sinead fix it up. Oh, that little pass just not good enough there. And falls short. Drummer back in numbers. Here comes Caught. Picks it up. Strikes. Lovely play by Caught the Van. Super score from Penalty Rossmore. to the goal in 9 to 3 5 Drum yet to score here in the second half Siobhan McGrath coming in there for replacing Michelle Woodlock comes straight into corner forward Mary Campin races for the ball great second half performance so far by Clonty Four points on the track there since half time. 46 minutes on the clock. Drum yet to score here in the second half. Despite having the advantage of the breeze. Emer McGrath, great strike there. Looks to find Anne Everson. Emer Lukeman is there too. Give it, give it. And pass it back to Courtney Ryan. Courtney with the strike. Out comes Aoife McGrath. Sarah Friday is there too. Aoife McGrath chasing the ball there with Sarah Friday. Not neither from gathering it up. It's still there. Neve Long is there too. As is Cora Hennessy. Fight, fight, fight. We're done. Right, watch closely. We're done. Or Sarah Friday hand passes out to Cora Hennessy. She gives it to Casey Hennessy and she strikes it. 
Eamor Burke is there being chased there by Eamor Cal. Who's going to win the race? Eamor Cal gets down. Lovely pick up by Eamor Cal. Strikes it down to Mary Campion. Mary in out front. Lovely pick up by Mary Campion. She clears the ball. Drummond Inch need a score. Haven't scored since half time. Siobhan McGrath. Here comes Joanne Ryan. Here's a chance. Well played by Joanne, but it's only as far as Corny Ryan. Siobhan McGrath is in there too. So is Eamor McGrath. Sarah, Sarah, here we go. Eamor is there by Eamor McGrath. Stolen off her. Coming down on the end line. Trying to get free. Gets the, gets the strike in. But here comes Trez Shard. Well played by Trez. Tries to pick out Lorna Ryan, but Mary Campion comes in between them. Trez still there. Follows Miriam. And it's a free for Drummond Inch. A chance for them to get a score. And it's the war break here now. Second half here. Drummond Inch will have a free after the war break. It's a goal and three points, or goal and nine points for Claude Rossmore. Three goals and five points for Drummond Inch. A big quarter in store now to see who's going to win, win this game. Who will be crowned FBD? Insurance Senior Camogie Champions here for 2021. Will Drum win their third title in a row? Will Clonty win their first? Not between the sides at the moment. 12 points to 14. Only two single points is all that's between it. Both sides getting into a huddle. Last few words of encouragement. All to play for here in the County Cologne Grounds to Rag. Next score will have a big bearing on the game. Drum and Inch getting ready now again. A huge final 15 minutes in store for both sides. Last final few words being ushered to both teams. Drummond didn't score in that quarter at all. Led it at two by two goals at half time. But that lead has been slashed to just two points thanks to four points from Colonia Rossmore. All to play for here. Feeling revived again. They have a great opportunity here. Ian McGrath with a free. <laughs> Philip Shannon coming up to take take an from McGrath's name. Yeah, look car free from McGrath for an instant before the war break. Her sister Ian we're now getting ready to take this free. This will put three points back in it between the sides. with the free here. Looks white ball. Still only two points between the seams. Trey Shaw getting ready to hit this free or this puck out. Will she go with this for distance or try to pick out someone? She goes for distance. Shvon McGrath's there with the Emer Newman. Siobhan tries to block it down. Here comes caught the fan. Poor Hennessy has it again. Strikes and looks for Eamon McGrath. Or looks for Casey Hennessy, but it's Eamon McGrath who blocks it down. Here comes Marion Campion. Wins a free. It's a free for Drummond Inch. Marion Campion fouled there. She tried to get the shot off. 
free for Eamon McGrath again. Eamon McGrath with the free. Has a look at the post. This should be a score for Drum. And it is their first point in the second half. 49 minutes on the clock. A free from Eamon McGrath, making it three goals and six points to Drum an inch, a goal and nine for Clonty. Three points in all together. Hook out there by Trey Short. Paul McGrath is back there again. Has the hurley up. Flicks it away from Sarah Friday. Here comes Mary Burke. She's doesn't get a chance to pick it up. Siobhan is there again. Now Mary Burke has a lovely play by Mary Burke. We haven't seen much for today. Here she goes on one of her trademark solo runs. Bursting out through from midfield. Strikes it into Anne Everson and tries to control it. But Claudia are there again in numbers. Caught the ball now. Way back in defence. Strikes it down. Rhea Connolly's there. from drum since the war break two points in a row here comes trades with the puck out pucks along caught there with Mairead Everson caught tries to get up Mary Burke is there so is Bernie Ryan caught still there flicks it out in front of her one handed tries to pick a knee long gets this intercept flick away from her it's still there though nobody has it in the hand yet both teams battling hard as the minutes count down here comes Casey Hennessy she's had a great game here's Casey Murphy Mary Burke coming into her own here now too lovely pick up by Mary Campion well played by Mary strikes it in trying to find Dee Dunn out comes Dee Dunn and Everson is there again Dee and I battling it there for drum Joanne Ryan is there too here comes Joanne flicks it into space in front of her tries to get it up fails to get it up here comes Eva Lupa rain's starting to fall here Eva Lupa strikes it down Eva McGrath is there well played by Eva McGrath gets it to Neve Long here Neve Long trying to get past Bernie Ryan here Friday gives it back to Eva McGrath or Eva McGrath Eva McGrath sorry she strikes it down goes as far as Core Hennessy here comes Eva Lupa Eva Lupa clears it down the wing between Eva McGrath and Sarah Friday again Two of them tussling for it again. It's gone out for a line ball. Aoife <laughs> <laughs> McGrath is injured. Waiting for a bit of attention there. It's a line ball though for Clonty. Courtney Ryan get ready to take the line ball. 53 minutes gone now on the clock. A goal in nine to three goals and seven. Great cut there trying to find Cobb. And Miriam's all the way back there. Back helping her defence. Well played by Miriam. Strikes it down. Looking for Anne Everson. Out comes Anne Everson. Come on, Come on. We need to watch the break. Kelly Cork flicks it away. Number four the there for Clotty. Joanne Ryan is there too. Joanne has it. Anne has sneaked, sneaked inside. Joanne is fouled. And it's a free for Drum and Inch. Joanne Ryan fouled there. And a chance for you, McGrath, to extend Drummond 
Lynch's lead. Four pints adrift now. This will make a five. with the free. No problems there. Another point for him. Well taken free. Drumming in three goals and eight points. Clonty one goal a night. Let's get out of break now. Let's get out of break. Trey's getting ready to take the puck out. Goes short. Watch the break. To Myra Canan. She hand passes it back to Trey. Trey goes long now. Trying to find Cora Hennessy. She does find her. Cora gets free from Ray Devson. Has a look. Delivers it inside. Trying to find Cora. Mary Burke cuts it out. On, Mary Park trying to get down the line. Bernie Ryan is there. Oh, and it's a line ball now for Drummond Inch. County oh, management wondering what else they can do here. Clonty yet to score in the since the war break. Cut there goes to Siobhan McGrath. Siobhan gathers a hand pass, lovely pass to Neve Long. Neve Long tries to gather up Dustin, fails to do so. Emer Lukeman is there. Her jersey is tugged. Free for Emer Lukeman. Clonty needs a bit of urgency now. Need to do this quick. <laughs> Courtney Ryan with the free. Need a big free. She delivers. Tries to find Emer Burke. Emer Cal is there though. Well played by Emer Cal. Picks it up. Strikes it down. Emer McGrath is there. So is Mary Burke. Can only need numbers, but it's Drumlar there. Strikes it down. Joanne Ryan is there. Courtney Ryan is there. Joanne Ryan does well. Gathers it up. Has possession now. Joanne looks for Siobhan McGrath. She's still there. Joanne playing with a hero outside. Only hits it as far as Katie Murphy. Katie trying to gather it though. Slappy play there by both sides, and it's a free now for Clonty. Down top of Casey! 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 Big free here from Clonty. Emer Cal is there, but doesn't get it. There's bodies there, and someone needs to pick it there for Clonty. They can't get her up. Ref might decide to throw it in. No, he doesn't. It's there now. Sinead Ryan is there. He's trying to roll, lift it back into her hand. Can't get it up. Drum. Here we come now. Here comes Casey Hennessy. The most dangerous forward today. Oh, no. Has it gone in? Took a shot. Keeper dropped it overhand, but it didn't cross the line. And a lifesaver for Drummondage. Look to just probably roll it on the goal line. Here come Drum now though with the line ball. Drum living on the edge there. 57 minutes gone on the clock. Ethan McGrath getting ready to take the line ball. Blocked by Sarah Friday. She gets off her clearance, but it's fouled. Where the ball lands? Where the ball lands? Lightsman, where the ball lands? Let's put it over there. Late challenge there, and it's going to be a free where the ball lands for Clonty. What time, what time is it? What time? What time is it? What time is it? Oh, time is it? Oh, time is it? Oh, time is it? Come on, come on. Every time, that's it. Drive it on. That's it. Drive it on. Drive it on. Drive it on. Drive it on. Yellow card for Drummond Inches and Eve Long. Caught the fan with the free. She goes low. Oh no, she doesn't. I thought she was going to hit a blow the crossbar, but no, it sails over the crossbar for a point for Clonty Rossmore. Now a goal and 10 points. 
three goals in eight. Watch here, Sarah, to your left for a minute now. We have a work, no rush here with this puck out. Goes long. Both sides looking to win this ball. Mary and Campbell goes over all their heads. Lorna Ryan has it done now. Hand passed out to Cot Van. Caught with the strike. Goes for distance. Trying to find Casey Hennessy. He's gone in there full forward. But Murray Ryan gets the lovely touch to it to Emer Cal. Emer's clear. It's only goes as far as Kelly Davern. The substitute. Maria Connolly is there though. So is Lee Trassi. Out Drummondage come out. Hooked. Well hooked by Kelly Davern. Trassi trying to win it again. Here comes Mary Burke. She's had a great second half. It's Casey Hennessy who gathers it again though. Mary Burke now with the pick up again. Flicks it out as far as Siobhan McGrath. Siobhan pulls on it. Caught the van. Gets across for it. Picks it up. Caught the van. Sees the run by Emer Lukeman. Sarah Fried is there as well. Strikes it in. Here comes Sarah Fried. Off she goes on the solar run. Neil Tracy tries to foul her. Doesn't. Sarah flicks it inside. Casey Hennessy. Here's a goal chance. Quiver Burke came out. And it's a penalty. Rossmore on the 16th minute here. <laughs> Quiva Burke or Sarah Fry passing a lovely ball to Casey Hennessy. Quiva Burke came out, and it was it was a referee blue for a penalty. So both sets of physios in, giving attention to the to the teams. It's Clonty. A goal at 10 points, 13 points to Drummond Inch's 3 goals at 8, 9 and 8, 17 points, 4 points in it. <laughs> I'm just checking my maths here. What will Clonty do? Do they go for the goal? Do they tap the ball over the bar? They need 4 points to get back on level terms here. With time running out. We're in injury time now. It all depends how much injury time the referee is going to play. There was a couple of injuries, but nothing really major. Who's going to take this penalty? I presume it's caught the van. The penalty it'll be the penalty taker. Caught's brother John giving her towel to dry the hurry before she gets ready to take this. Let's get ready for the puck out, Casey. They need a goal. Quiva Burke in the goals. Tipperary goalie Quiva Burke facing her captain for Tipperary, caught the van. Caught getting ready to take this. Both sets of players ready to run in it. She picks it, she strikes. Save by Quiva Burke, a brilliant save. Rowan lifts it into her hand, comes out along the end line and clears it. What a super save by Quiva Burke. Well struck penalty, but just didn't get far enough away from Quiva, who dived out and splocked it. A chance there for Clotty to bring it back to one, but Quiva was alert to it. A great save there in the Drummond Inch goals. The light is fading here already in the rag. A dull day. Here comes Clonty again. They still have time for another attack. Here comes Casey Hennessy. She's giving it everything today. Here comes Mary Campion coming out from the fence. All the way back, helping her defence. Clears the ball. Only as far as Lorna Ryan. Lorna Solo is up, but there's a lot of Drummondage players around her, including Dee Dunn, who comes across, flicks it to Joanne Ryan. Joanne tries to get it up. Here comes Joanne now. Hand pass it back overhead to Dee Dunn. Loads of space.
on three goals and nine points to a goal on ten points. Uh, yeah, folks, thanks very much to both teams today on a, on a fantastic performance. It's a great, great game of hurling on both sides. Both teams gave everything. In fairness, both teams gave everything. To uh, the crowd again, all your spectators, your supporters, thanks very much for coming. It was a joy to see such a crowd here. To the officials, the linesmen, the umpires, everybody on the day that helped out, thanks very much for your support throughout the year and not alone even today. So thanks very much. Um, I have to praise George Kidney for the theme and all the work as well he's doing around the, the ground. So thanks very much, George. To Canauti, I know I said it last year again, very, very unlucky on the day, commiserations. You fought right up to the end. It was in the bag up to the last minute or two, so that's just four. It's very hard to take that sport off me. I know you will get back here, except for the club. You have an awful lot of work done. You can see all the young girls coming up. So I wish you the best again. And I'd say I know you'll be back here again next year, fighting again. So well done, Penalty. So turn it around. So it's a fantastic performance again throughout the field, the same as last year. I watched you again last year. You're very even right throughout the field. You never say die, you give everything right up to the last. So a fantastic performance. Great save again to be with you on the last few minutes. So I wish you all the best. I wish you all the best next weekend in Munster. I know you've two you did last year and this year to come forward. So I think the more matches you get, the more benefit will be to you. And I know you do Tipperary are proud. So well done to Drummond on the day. Well done. Before I hand over the cup to Eamon McGray, I'd like to uh, 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 announce the player of the match, which has been picked, and the player of the match today is Carl to bed. I'd like to say that Mary uh, Flannery will be handed over as part of FBD. FBD have sponsored Tipperary Camogie for the next three years, both junior, senior, intermediate and minor, which is great. It's great for Tipperary Camogie, it's great for the clubs and it's great for women in sport. So thanks very much to uh, FBD for the next three years. I'd like now to hand the cup to Mary Flannery to hand over to the winning captain, Ema McGrath. such a, a, a big company behind the thing really pushing it on so thanks to FPD for coming on board this year um, I suppose to the county board for, for organising all the competitions running them off so smoothly and I think the field here is, is immaculate I've never seen it as good as it is today especially this time of the year so I'm fair play to the county board for that um, to the ref um, thanks a million to, to you and your officials I think you did a very good job you made the game flow you know, and, and thanks for that um, to our management team, Pat, Paul, Kevin, Matthew and Mary, thanks a million for all the work you put out in for the last two or three years. Like, you know, you're meant, there's no stone left unturned, unturned with you, like, so you're a credit and, and we really appreciate everything you do for us. Um, to the group of girls here on the left, what, I, what can I say, like, you know, whatever is asked you, you do it, you do it to them to 100% all the time, so 
fair play, you should be really proud and I'm, I'm delighted to, to be up here and accepted the cup on behalf of you and all the work he's put in all year. Um, lastly, to Clonolty, look, we've been in your position loads before, like, you know, it, it's, it's a tough one to take. He made us earn every score there today, like, you know, it was really tough and really went down to the wire. And look, we knew that coming here today, like, you're a super bunch and look, I'm sure you'll regroup and we'll meet you again. Um, in a not too distant future. Um, so three cheers for Clinaldi. Hip hip. Hip hip.